Frisia or Friesland is a coastal region along the southeastern corner of the North Sea in what today is mostly a large part of the Netherlands, including modern Friesland, and smaller parts of Germany. Frisia is the traditional homeland of the Frisians, a Germanic people who speak Frisian, a language group closely related to the English language. Names the names for Frisia in the local languages are West Frisian, Friesland, North Frisian, Frash Lodge, Friesklun, Friesklun, Fresklin, and Friesland, Satafrisian, Freiland, East Frisian, Low Saxon, Friesland, Gronings, Friesland, German and Dutch, Friesland, Danish, Freiland. When the French occupied Frisian territory the name for one department was Fries. In English both terms, Frisia and Friesland are used. Divisions. Frisia is commonly divided into three sections. West Frisia corresponds roughly to the Friesland province named Friesland in Frisian including parts of historical West Friesland, namely Vililand containing Sudwest Friesland municipality constituted as Friesland department, Batavian Republic Fries, French Groningen province, northern parts of North Holland province including parts of West Friesland, including West Friesland, East Frisia or Eastern Friesland in Lower Saxony. Germany corresponds roughly to East Frisia in a more narrow sense Lear District Auric District Whitman District Temden Municipality East Frisia in a wider sense Friesland District Wilhelm Schaven Municipality Sutherland Municipality in the District of Kloppenburg Butjarding and Peninsula and Municipality in the District of Wessermarsh Land Worsen Municipality in the District of Cuxhaven North Frisia or Northern Friesland in Schleswig Big Holstein. Germany corresponds roughly to the western and central parts of the Nordfriesland district Heligoland municipality in the district of Pinneberg. The three groups of the Frisian islands stretch more or less correspondingly along these three sections of the German Bight coast. West Frisia corresponds roughly to the Dutch province of Friesland, the northern part of North Holland province and also modern Groningen province, though the Western Frisian language is only spoken in Friesland proper. Dialects with strong Frisian substrates, including Low German and Low Franconian, are also spoken in West Frisia. In the northern province of Groningen, people speak Gronings, a Low Saxon dialect with a strong Frisian substrate. Until 1942 Vililand belonged to North Holland, then the Germans changed it to Friesland. East Frisia includes areas located in the northwest of the German state of Lower Saxony, including the districts of Auric, Leer, Whitman and Friesland, as well as the urban districts of Emden and Wilhelm Schaven, the Satterland, the Land Worsen and former Rustringen. East Frisia is also the name of a historical county in that area. The German name Ostfriesland distinguishes the former county from OST Friesland, which means the whole eastern Frisian area. The portions of North Frisia within the German state of Schleswig-Holstein are part of the district of Nordfriesland and stretch along the coast, including the coastal islands from the Eider River to the border of Denmark in the north. The North Sea Island of Heligoland, while not part of Nordfriesland district, is also part of traditional North Frisia. Maps Frisia Overview Kingdom of Frisia 511 Frisia 716 Frisian Historical Settlement Areas Showing areas where a Frisian language is spoken today. Frisian Colonization of the Southwest Coast of Jutland during the Viking Age Languages a half million Frisians in the province of Friesland in the Netherlands speak West Frisian. Several thousand people in North Friesland and Heligoland in Germany speak a collection of North Frisian dialects that are often unintelligible to each other. A small number of Satterland Frisian language speakers live in four villages in Lower Saxony, in the Satterland region of Kloppenburg County just beyond the boundaries of traditional East Frisia. Many Frisians speak Low Saxon dialects, especially in East Frisia, but also in Western North Frisia. History 
Frisia has changed dramatically over time, both through floods and through a change in identity. It is part of the supposed Nordwest bloc which is a hypothetical historic region linked by language and culture. Roman times the people, later to be known as Frisi, began settling in Frisia in the 6th century BC. According to Pliny the Elder, in Roman times, the Frisians lived on Terps, man-made hills. According to other sources, the Frisians lived along the broader expanse of the North Sea coast. Frisia at this time comprised the present provinces of Friesland and parts of North Holland and Utrecht. Early Middle Ages Frisian presence during the Early Middle Ages has been documented from northwestern Flanders up to the Wesser River estuary. According to archaeological evidence, these Frisians were not the Frisians of Roman times but descendants from Anglo-Saxon immigrants from the German Bight, arriving during the Great Migration. By the 8th century, ethnic Frisians also started to colonize the coastal areas north of the Ida River under Danish rule. The nascent Frisian languages were spoken all along the southern North Sea coast. Today, the whole region is sometimes referred to as Greater Frisia or Frisia Magna. Distant authors seem to have made little distinction between Frisians and Saxons. The Byzantine Procopius described three peoples living in Britain, Angles, Frisians and Britons, and the Danish author of Nutrappa celebrating the 11th century Canute the Great used Frisians as a synonym of English. The historian and sociologist George Homans has made a case for Frisian cultural domination in East Anglia since the 5th century, pointing to distinct land holdings arrangements in Karoo kits, partable inheritance patterns of common lands held in by kin, resistance to manorialization and other social institutions. Some East Anglian sources called the mainland inhabitants Warney, rather than Frisians. During the 7th and 8th centuries, Frankish chronologies mention the northern Low Countries as the Kingdom of the Frisians. According to medieval legends, this kingdom comprised the coastal Sealander provinces of the Netherlands, from the Scheldt River to the Wesser River and further east. Archaeological research does not confirm this idea, as the petty kingdoms appear to have been rather small and short-lived. The earliest Frisian records name four social classes, the Ethelings and Freilings, who together made up the free Frisians, who might bring suit to court, and the Latin or Litten with the slaves, who were absorbed into the Latin during the early Middle Ages, as slavery was not so much formally abolished as evaporated. The Latin were tenants of lands they did not own and might be tied to it in the manner of serfs, but in later times might buy their freedom. The basic land holding unit for assessment of taxes and military contributions was, according to Homans, the Ploeg or Teen, which, however, also passed under other local names. The Teen was pledged to supply ten men for the Heer, or army. Ploeg or Teen formed a unit of which the members were collectively responsible for the performance of any of the men. The Ploeg or East Frisian Rot was a compact holding that originated with a single lineage or kinship, whose men in early times went to war under their chief, and evolved in medieval times into a union of neighbors rather than kith and kin. Several, often three, Ploegs were grouped into a Bora, whose members controlled and adjudicate the uses of pasturage which the Ploegs held in common, and came to be in charge of roads, ditches and dikes. Twelve Ploegs made up a long hundred, responsible for supplying a hundred armed men, four of which made a go. Homan's ideas, which were largely based on studies now considered to be outdated, have not been followed up by continental scholars. The 7th century Frisian realm under the kings Older Gisel and Redbad had its center of power in the city of Utrecht. Its ancient customary law was drawn up as the Lex Frisianum in the late 8th century. 
Frankish troops conquered the area east of the Loire Hours in 785, after Charlemagne defeated the Saxon leader Widgekind. The Carolingians laid Frisia under the rule of Gruen, a title that has been loosely related to count in its early sense of governor, rather than feudal overlord. During the 7th to 10th centuries, Frisian merchants and skippers played an important part in the international luxury trade establishing commercial districts in distant cities as Sigtuna, Hedeby, Ribe, York, London, Duisburg, Cologne, Mainz, and Worms. The Frisian coastal areas were partly occupied by Vikings in the 840s, until these were expelled between 885 and 920. Recently, it has been suggested that the Vikings did not conquer Frisia, but settled peacefully in certain districts where they built simple forts and cooperated and traded with the native Frisians. One of their leaders was Rorik of Doristad. Upstal's boom league during the 12th century Frisian noblemen and the city of Groningen founded the Upstal's boom league under the slogan of Frisian freedom to counter feudalizing tendencies. The league consisted of modern Friesland, Groningen, East Frisia, Harlingerland, Jeveren Rustringen. The Frisian districts in West Friesland west of the Zuiderzee did not participate. Neither did the districts north of the Eider River along the Danish North Sea coast. Former were occupied by the Count of Holland in 1289, the latter were governed by the Duke of Schleswig and the King of Denmark. The same holds true for the district of Land worse and east of the Wesser River. The Upstals Boom League was revived in the early 14th century, but it collapsed after 1337. By then the non-Frisian city of Groningen took the lead of the independent coastal districts. 15th century The 15th century saw the demise of Frisian republicanism. In East Frisia a leading nobleman from the Serxina family managed to defeat his competitors with the help of the Hanseatic League. In 1464 he acquired the title of Count of East Frisia. The King of Denmark was successful in subduing the coastal districts north of the Eider River. The Dutch provinces of Friesland and Groningen remained independent until 1498. By then Friesland was conquered by Duke Albert of saxony meissen The city of Groningen, which had started to dominate the surrounding rural districts, surrendered to Count Edzard of East Frisia in 1506. The city conveyed its remaining privileges to the Habsburg Empire in 1536. The district of Buchardingen was occupied by the Count of Oldenburg in 1514, the land worsened by the Prince Bishop of Bremen in 1525, modern age. In the early 16th century, the pirateer Pierre Gerloff Stonia challenged Saxon authority in Friesland during a prolonged guerrilla war, backed by the Duke of Gelders. He had several successes and was feared by Holland authorities, but he died as a farmer in 1520. According to the legend he was seven feet tall. A statue dedicated to him has recently been installed in Kimswert. In the 1560s many Frisans joined the revolt led by William of Orange against the Habsburg monarchy. In 1577 the province of Friesland became part of the nascent Dutch Republic as its representatives signed the Union of Utrecht. The city of Groningen was conquered by the Dutch in 1594. Since then, membership of the Dutch Republic was perceived as a guarantee for the preservation of civil liberties. Actual power, however, was usurped by the landowning gentry. Protests against aristocratic rule led to a democratic movement in the 1780s. Modern regionalism During the late 19th and early 20th century, Frisian freedom became the slogan of a regionalist movement in Friesland, demanding equal rights for the Frisian language and culture within the Netherlands. The Frisian language and its urban dialects are spoken by the majority of the inhabitants. In East Frisia, the idea of Frisian freedom became entangled with regional sentiments as well. Though the Frisian language had been replaced by Low German dialects as early as the 15th century. In Groningen, on the other hand, Frisian sentiments faded away at the end of the 16th century. 
in North Frisia regional sentiments concentrate around the surviving Frisian dialects, which are spoken by a sizable minority of the population. Though Lower German is far more widespread, Frisian territories West Friesland was conquered by the County of Holland in 1289. The district, which also comprised the islands of Wieringen, Texel, and Vlieland, had its own seats in the estates of Holland and West Friesland. When province of Holland was split up in 1840, West Friesland became a part of North Holland. The name of West Friesland has also been used by an intercommunal administrative board and a drainage board. Friesland became an independent member of the Dutch Republic in 1581. It is now a Dutch province, in 1996 renamed as Friesland. The islands of Terschelling, Ameland, and Schiermonnikoog were independent seigneuries which were integrated into the province of Friesland during the 19th and 20th centuries. Groningen, formerly Stadenland, became an independent member of the Dutch Republic in 1594. Now it is a Dutch province. East Frisia was an independent county since 1464, later a principality within the Holy Roman Empire until 1744. By then, it was annexed by the Kingdom of Prussia. After a period of Dutch and French rule, it became part of the Kingdom of Hanover in 1814. Now it consists of several districts within the federal state of Lower Saxony in the Federal Republic of Germany. Harlingerland was a seigniory, inherited by the Count of East Frisia in 1600. Jeva was a seigniory, annexed by the county of Oldenburg in 1573 and, after a prolonged period of Saxony and Holt, Russian, Dutch and French rule, reunited with Oldenburg in 1814. It is now part of the district of Friesland within the federal state of Lower Saxony. Niphausen was a seigniory, split off from the county of Oldenburg in 1667 and reunited with its surroundings in 1854. Sassland was a tiny Frisian district under the Prince Bishop of Munster, in 1814 assigned to the Kingdom of Hanover. But Juddingen was a coastal republic, a remnant of the largely submerged district of Rustringen. It was conquered by the Count of Oldenburg in 1514. After a period of Danish rule, it became part of the Duchy of Oldenburg in 1774, which remained a more or less independent state within the Holy German Empire until 1918. But Juddingen is now part of the district of Essermarsch within the federal state of Lower Saxony. Land Worsen was a coastal republic conquered by the Prince Bishop of Bremen in 1525. It became part of the Duchy of Bremen Verden. The latter was, after a period of Swedish rule, integrated into the Kingdom of Hanover in 1715. It is now part of the district of Cuxhaven within the federal state of Lower Saxony. North Frisia corresponded originally to the Uthlander in the Kingdom of Denmark. Later North Frisia became a part of the Danish Duchy of Schleswig and of the royal enclaves of the Kingdom of Denmark. The duchy was conquered by Prussia in 1864. Now it forms a district within the federal state of Schleswig-Holstein. Helgoland is part of the district of Pinneberg. North Frisia was at no time part of the Holy Roman Empire. Flag Although the Frisian regions have their own separate flags, Frisia has not historically had a flag of its own. The flag for United Frisia, known as the Interfrisian flag, was launched in September 2006 by the Groep van Auwijk, which supports a United Frisia as a recognized country. The flag is inspired by the Nordic cross flag. The four Pompbladen are derived from the seven Pompbladen on the Friesland flag but the number represents the three separate Frisian regions plus Groningen. The flag was not accepted by the Interfrisian Council. Flag of the Dutch province of Friesland Interfrisian flag of the Interfrisian Council, accepted in June 2009. Interfrisian flag of the separatist organization, Groep van Auwijk, Atlas. In 2009, a Frisian edition of the National Boss Atlas, De Boss Atlas van Frieslin was published. Boss Atlas van Frieslin is completely dedicated to the Dutch province of Friesland, with historical and modern maps.
aerophotography and background information on hundreds of topics. It also contains a complete set of topographical maps, in the most detailed scale.